Well, over the past 18 years, you have seen some great football players highlighted on the Prep Picks Report. Silver Picks winner Reggie Bush comes to mind. Raven safety, Tony Jefferson, Oregon running back Royce Freeman, also Silver Picks winner, and former Houston Texans running back Arian Foster, who wanted to be a Silver Picks winner and still won't let me forget about it. This year, there will be no shortage of great players on our Silver Picks watch list, and one of those gentlemen is kind enough to join me on the sports rail. Please welcome Helix defensive back Isaac Taylor Stuller. We uh, will get to the Helix thing in just a moment, but let's get this bit of ugliness out of the way. Uh, this was a Mr. Stewart's tweet just a few days back. Every time you mispronounce my name wrong or n not fully say it, you owe me a hat. This is like the third time. So, because you're such a stickler, <laughs> here's the hat, here's the sweatshirt, here's a t-shirt, and here's another sweatshirt for all the times I've butchered your name. Uh, it's valuable stuff. It might affect your college eligibility, so uh, be, be careful who you tell. Uh, let's talk about uh, uh, Beaverton, Oregon. Tell us about where you just came back from. I just came back from Eugene, Oregon, and then I was at the opening competing out there, and I did uh, 40 and then some 7-on-7 seven seven out there. All right, so for those who don't know, we're looking at some video of it. This is not just some get-together. It is the most prestigious invite uh, for nationwide, you are the best of the best. One of two San Diegans, you and uh, Mission Hills quarterback uh, Mr. Tuttle. Did you guys see a lot of each other, or did you hang out at all? Oh uh, yeah, we hang out like at least like seven times, and then I, I was I watched one of his games and cheered along, and we were in the lobby just relaxing, having fun, just talking about football and the opening. It was a great time. He can wing it, can he? Yeah, he was he was <laughs> winging over right, there. Here, let me just, let me give. <laughs> um, t talk about Team Mock Speed. Uh, team Mock Speed. Uh, we came in as like the underdog because nobody. What is Team Mock Speed? Team Mock Speed is like of seven uh, seventeen, like for the opening, and then our team was like purple and. It was like, just like players from all around the country who comes together and just compete. And, and uh, you know, one of the benefits going to camp like this is you get to work with some great coaches. Can you mm -hmm. tell us about some of the people who you were working out with? I was working out with um, the number one college football player, Dwayne James. Um, and then I, I had two cornerbacks coaches. They both played in the NFL. One of them was named Dane Clark, and the other one was like Vonna Perry. And it was just like a great opportunity. And I imagine they give you tips that you wouldn't see. I mean, they, they play the game at the highest level. They're, they know things that you don't know yet, right? Yeah, they're, they're just teaching me. I, I learned a lot, honestly. Just like being What's the them. one thing you learned? Uh, just like just trying to get, get you got to stay lower in, when you, in your breaks and just play the down game quick. lower? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's take a piece, let's take a peek at the, the hardware here. Uh, tell it. I, 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 were you in the wrestling ring? Did you beat somebody at <laughs> WWE? Tell us about these two impressive trophies. Uh, so this one, I won this when I was in Indianapolis for the Rivals Adidas Camp. It's where all the top players go out there and just compete. And then they asked me if I wanted to run a 40. I was like, yeah. What did you, you clock in at? Uh, I clocked in at a 444. It was a NFL laser time, so it was a it was a, definitely a great time. Legit time. That so, so you win this trophy as being really, really fast, mm -hmm. and then this trophy is just shows it wasn't a fluke, right? Yeah. Explain uh, what, what you run here. So, this is the Beaverton one, right? Yeah, so this one was a Eugene, Oregon one, and then out there, out there I ran a 4-3-2, and then they gave me a trophy like that. Basically, like it's like what John Ross wore and everything. So uh, th that makes you the fastest, in our opinion, the fastest high school football player in the United States. Uh, is that a title you're comfortable with? <laughs> yes, I'm very comfortable with that. It's an honor. And you know, while we're talking about trophies and significant items, can we take a picture of uh, this young man's T-shirt? You're also a U.S. Army All-American. Uh, tell, tell us about the honor of representing San Diego in what is the most prestigious military, military All-Star game. Uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to be invited and to play in a bowl for especially your Army, you know, the ones that protect us and everything. And it's just like great. I'm blessed. To and you look receive. at all the kids who have represented San mm -hmm. Diego. There's not a dud amongst them. So I mean, you got to feel really good about that. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, we, a couple of weeks ago, Rick Willis, who uh, brought you into our fold, did, went out to Dad's dojo. Tell tell everybody what your dad, father does for a living. Um, my father is a Taekwondo master. He's a seventh degree um, black belt in Taekwondo. Um, he specializes in like strength and especially um, stretching to help. And, and out. plug the name of his facility. Uh, master Taylor of Taekwondo. In La Mesa, right? Yes, sir. For uh, and you are. I'm Isaac Taylor Stewart. No, I know you are. <laughs> you are a second degree black belt. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, I'm a second degree black belt. Talk about. Uh, first of all, can you beat the old man? 
<laughs> nah, he still got that inner strength strong. He's, I don't know how, but he's, he's still strong. Sometimes, you know, he try to wrestle. He usually kind of gets me, but Give it a couple I'm a little years. quicker. Yeah, you'll catch him. Uh, t- talk about how important the, that martial arts training is and, and just working out with the old man. He's got a special workout regime, right? Uh, yes, sir. Talk, could, go into it. Tell us about it. Uh, so just mainly, uh, he for me, I was specialized like in stretching. That just allows my hips and like speed to like increase dramatically and just like to just help me just like you know run faster and prevent injuries more well you know let's talk a little bit about the uh, normally i would introduce you as a member of saint augustine high school but you are going to be playing next season your senior year at helix could you talk a little bit about why that happened uh it just happened just like some stuff came up and then i I have completely respect for coach sanchez and saint augustine football and also my brotherhood at saint augustine uh i just felt like you know things happened and i just had transferred to helix high school fair enough i you, you, I'll tell you one thing you did. You made the Helix St. Augustine potential matchup really, really interesting this season. Uh, could you talk a little bit about uh, you, all the colleges that are interested in you? You now have how many D1 offers? Uh, I have 51 D1 offers now. We're looking at just the top 16. Uh, when are you going to make your decision now? Uh, I should make my decision in like end of December or beginning of January. So when you do make that decision, are you going to be in any particular TV station? Uh, I haven't quite decided about that yet, or thought about it yet. It's still coming well, to mind or anything. Oh, well, just know that you're always welcome. Uh, a lot of kids that you know, played with, will play against, uh, have recently committed already for 2018, a bunch of them going to San, uh, San Diego State. They made their decision a year out. You're waiting to the bitter end. Well, explain why you're waiting. I'm just waiting so I can just take all my official visits and like have fun and relax with the process and everything. I believe you know it's like it's really it's like a four-year opportunity for me to get a great education and see like what's best for me and everything. What's the recruiting process? Are is it? Does your phone ring nonstop? Uh, or is it what is it all text? What how, what's the new tool these days? Mainly it's like all text and like Twitter messages. But I usually have like my notifications disabled because sometimes they be like days where I'm just like nonstop blowing up like boom, 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 all yeah, the time. That, that, that would seem like it would get old to me. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's fun, you know, just talk to, like, different coaches, like, f- throughout the country, in different states and everything. So it's a great. Well, I know these trophies are really impressive, but there's another high school trophy out there. It's the, it's the most coveted trophy in all of high school sports. It's called the prestigious Silver Pigskin. What would it mean to, to you to finish your high school career on the podium on the USS Midway Tuesday, December 12th? Uh, it would mean a great, it would, it would mean a great honor for me. Like just knowing, like all the best athletes that I won that trophy, like win it, and if I could win it, I just like a great blessing right there. Knowing that, like I'm going now, like one of the top San Diego football players, like come out of here and everything. All right, well, Isaac, Taylor, Stewart, thank you. Did I get it right? Yes, sir. Right. Uh, thank you for coming. I suspect we'll be seeing you again.